So it, uh, it rained last night. Uh, it's quite mild out right now. There's a nice light breeze rolling across the, the kind of valley I'm in, which is great. I didn't get to do the test with the firewood that I'd split up last night. It rained shortly after uh, I shut off the camera. Um, I got some shots of the fire itself, but that was about it. Uh, I'll have to save it for another day uh, and start with a fresh piece because the one I already did is split, so it's probably going to dry a little faster. Um, it's pretty damp right, out right now, and uh, I don't think I'd really have a fire going anyways, uh, at least not at this time. And uh, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be here. I know there's a bunch of things I want to do, but I don't really require a fire to do that necessarily, so I'm going to wait and see. I have a little bit of cleanup to do. Not too much. Everything's pretty much in order right now. I just need to figure out uh, how to button some things up. Uh, other than that, uh, I just need to clean up inside. It's a little bit of a war zone in there. And uh, put some things away. And we should be good to go. I don't. Uh, if I don't decide to do too much, it is what it is. But I've had a really busy weekend so far, and uh, it's been uh, really great. Actually, it's been really nice to get out and enjoy the time out here. I can't wait to come back out already. I haven't even gone yet. And I'm just thinking about the next time I come out. So, yeah. So I'm gonna sit back and enjoy the rest of this coffee before it gets too cold and. Enjoy the mild air and yes, come what may. So this is the area I've been taking a lot of the trees from. It's a little overgrown. Uh, and what I'm trying to do is uh, slowly thin out certain areas. So um, we have some younger birch here, which I don't normally want to take. This guy's got an awful wicked lean to him. And I'm not really sure where I can send him down. Odds are he's going to go that way and kick out behind me, so we'll, we're going to shoot for that. I'm just going to do a small notch cut here, and then I'm going to cut above and back and see how it goes. And I think I'll leave, I think I'll have to move the camera because I want it out of the way of all this just in case I have to run or get it kicked or anything like that. So I'll get set up here. <laughs>
I'm going to finish bucking this up into four foot lengths, roughly about four feet, and then I got to carry it out, which is the hardest part because it's not a big tree and you're wondering, well, why don't you go for a bigger tree, maybe a, an older tree? Well, it's just physical ability to get it out of here. Uh, after I'm done this tree, I'm going to find a nice little place to make a path up to uh, another area so that if I, if I log further in, then it's easier to walk back or I can get a cart. But for now, I'm just going to get this guy bucked up and then they're uh, going to walk it all back. So it's going to take some work. This stuff just splits like butter. It's fantastic. So nice to work with it. I'm not a big fan of the spruce over there. But every dog has his day. Good dogs have two. Which movie was that? just reminded me I had all this uh, split kindling basically here these are all the branches from that uh, previous bird you saw that was split over there uh, I piled it all here and I forgot all about it so it's kind of been drying but not at the same time so yeah yeah it's gonna take a few trips to carry it over I don't have much to carry it with so it's gonna take a few armfuls and you know we'll chip away at it So it's a sizable pile of wood. Now this is all branches, so I salvaged probably 90% of the tree minus the smaller limbs. And they're still out there drying, and what I might do is break those up at a later date when I get a better handsaw. Right now I don't really have a good one, but this was really tricky to do with the chainsaw. It wasn't really safe, and I'm not really keen on doing that again, but in the interest of trying to salvage as much as I can, it's worth it. I'm not going to buck these up, or, or sorry, I'm not going to split these today. Uh, they've been sitting up there a while, so they're pretty wet. So I'm going to get them to stay around here and just dry out a little bit more. Um, and then I'm going to take the hatchet one of these days and uh, break them up. And then probably put them somewhere in the sun 
where uh, they will dry and I'll probably be able to use them for kindling this, this winter. So they're not very big, they're pretty small. And like I said, it's been down for a month or two now. So yeah, pretty good. Okay guys, that's about it for me today. Uh, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed uh, these videos that I made. Uh, it was a lot of work and a lot of fun. Um, I'm hoping to uh, come up with some new video ideas as we go along, or just some new adventures, that's about it. Uh, I don't think there's anything new going on, just more like what's new to me. And uh, as always, there's plenty of stuff going on in the cabin, and I'll film what I can. And thanks for coming along for the ride, and keep watching, keep liking, keep subscribing, and you know, We'll just keep going on. All right. Thanks. Bye.